Bob Breyer was an American musician and sound engineer, best known as the drummer of American rock band My Chemical Romance. The longest tenured and last official drummer, he performed in the band from 2004 until his departure in 2010. Born, December 31, 1979, Chicago, Illinois, United States. Died, November 2024, age 44 years. Music Groups, My Chemical Romance, 2004-2010, The Used. Height, 1.79 meters. Bob Breyer net worth $5 million. Early Life Breyer was born in Chicago, Illinois, on December 31, 1979. He started playing drums at a young age, performing in his school's marching and jazz bands. After graduation, Breyer studied for a degree in sound engineering at the University of Florida. Career My Chemical Romance, 2004-2010 In 2000, Breyer began working as a touring sound engineer for rock bands including The Used and Thrice. During this time, he befriended My Chemical Romance while the band was on tour with The Used in 2004. Breyer became the drummer for My Chemical Romance after the band's tour in Japan, officially replacing former drummer Matt Pelissier shortly after the release of the band's second studio album Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, 2004. Breyer was featured in all of the music videos for Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, except the first version of the video for I'm Not Okay, he was featured in the second version, and also performed on all of the subsequent releases in support of the album including Life on the Murder Scene and Venganza. Breyer performed on My Chemical Romance's third studio album, The Black Parade, 2006. The album was favored by music critics and was a commercial success, being awarded double platinum status in the United Kingdom and the United States. Breyer and lead vocalist Gerard Way were injured during the filming of the music video Four Famous Last Words directed by Samuel Bayer, with Breyer suffering third-degree burns on his hands and legs after he caught fire when he was too close to the flames. Their injuries caused the band to cancel their performance at the San Diego Street Scene Festival. A month later, the band missed two tour dates after Breyer was hospitalized with a staph infection also caused during the filming of the music video. The band released a statement two days later, apologizing for canceling shows, stating that they want to be by his side the whole time. When the band went on the Black Parade World Tour in support of the album in February 2007, he began having complications in his wrist in November causing the band to cancel their show in Maine. In response to his recent injuries, Breyer apologized on the band's MySpace, explaining that he has had problems with his wrist over the past few years, and that he received a golf ball-sized lump in his wrist and began to lose control and feeling in fingers. He sat out for the tour, and the band continued with Pete Parada as his temporary replacement. Although Breyer was unable to perform, he continued to tour with the band and assist with pyrotechnics and returned for the last leg of the tour in January 2008. My Chemical Romance re-entered the studio in 2009 to record their fourth studio album with producer Brendan O'Brien. On July 31 and August 1, they played two secret shows at the Roxy Theatre in Los Angeles, performing unreleased material from their upcoming album, including a song titled Death Before Disco. On March 3, 2010, rhythm guitarist Frank Yarrow announced on their official website that Breyer had departed from the band, writing, As of four weeks ago, My Chemical Romance and Bob Breyer parted ways. This was a painful decision for all of us to make and was not taken lightly. We wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors and expect you all to do the same. Death Breyer was found dead in his Tennessee home on November 27, 2024, at age 44. He was last seen alive on November 4. Sylvia Pinnell was a Mexican actress. She began her career in theater, venturing into cinema, in 1949. She was one of Mexico's greatest female stars, particularly from the golden age of Mexican cinema and part of the golden age of Hollywood for her film Shark. Born, September 12, 1931, Guaymas, Mexico. Died, November 28, 2024, age 93 years, Mexico City, Mexico. Spouse, Tulio Hernandez Gomez, M. 1982-1995, see more. Children, Sylvia Pascal, Alejandra Guzman, Veridiana Alatrist, Luis Enrique Guzman.
grandchildren, Frida Sofia, Stephanie Salas, Veridiana Margarita Freyd Banquels, Jordana Guzman, Scursa Guzman. Education, the College of Mexico AC, National Institute of Fine Arts. Sylvia Pinal net worth $50 million. Early life. Sylvia Pinal Hidalgo was born in Guaymas, Sonora on September 12, 1931. Her parents were Maria Luisa Hidalgo Aguilar and Moises Pascal. Pascal was an orchestra conductor at radio station XEW. Pinal's mother became pregnant by Pascal when she was 15 years old. Her father did not acknowledge Sylvia as his child, and Pinal did not know him until she was 11 years old. Her biological father sired three more sons, Eugenio, Moises, and Virginia. However, Pinal never spent time with the Pascal family. Pinal spent her first years behind the counter of a seafood restaurant near XEW, where her mother worked. When she was five years old, her mother married Luis G. Pinal, whom they called El Caballero Pinal, Sir Pinal, a journalist, military man, and politician twenty years her senior. Pinal subsequently adopted Sylvia as his daughter, and in later interviews, she described Pinal as her only father. Pinal also had three daughters from a previous marriage, Mercedes, Beatriz, and Eugenia. Senior Pinal held several public positions in Mexico, including the municipal president of Tequisquiapan, Querétaro. The family lived in several cities in Mexico, including Querétaro, Acapulco, Monterrey, Chilpancinga, Cuernavaca and Puebla, before finally settling in Mexico City. Pinal had an interest in show business since she was a child. In addition to film and music, she liked to write and recite poems. She studied first at Pestalozzi College in Cuernavaca and then at the Washington Institute in Mexico City. Despite her artistic aspirations, her father cautioned her to look for something useful, so she learned to type. At age 14, she began working as a secretary at Kodak. Pinal went to study opera and began preparing by taking classes, first with a private teacher and then with Professor Reyes Rutana. Her first step toward fame occurred when she was invited to participate in a beauty pageant. In this contest, Pinal obtained the title of Student Princess of Mexico. At her coronation, she met the actors Ruben Rojo and Manolo Fabregas, with whom she became close friends. While studying bel canto, Pinal went to work as a secretary in the pharmaceutical laboratories of Carlos Stein. At the Music Academy, Pinal auditioned for a role in the opera La Traviata. However, the audition was a failure. A teacher encouraged her to take acting courses at the Instituto Nacional de Bellas Arts, where she was a classmate of figures such as Carlos Pellicer, Salvador Novo, and Xavier Villarusha. She debuted as an extra in a performance of A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. Career Beginning Pinal continued working in the advertising department of a pharmaceutical products firm. Aware that she was studying acting, her boss allowed her to participate in recording radio comedies for station XEQ. She debuted in the comedy Dos Pesos La Tejada. At the radio station, Pinal met publicists who invited her to join an experimental company. With that company, she debuted in the play Los Caprichos de Goya. The director of this work was the Cuban-Mexican actor and director Rafael Banquels, with whom Pinal began an employment relationship and a close friendship that led to romance. Banquels got Carlos Laverne to allow them to use the ideal theater of Mexico City for their productions. Laverne chose Pinal to participate in a montage with the company of the Ideal Theater, directed by the Spanish actress Isabelita Blanche. The work was called Nuestra Natasha. Pinal acted in numerous works for this company. Her first star work was on Sueño de Cristal. Personal Life and Death Pinal was married four times. Her first marriage was to Cuban actor and director Rafael Banquels, her first formal boyfriend, in 1947. She acknowledged that her marriage at such an early age was partly to escape her repressive father, I changed my father for a softer one that stimulated me in my career. The couple divorced in 1952, a year after the birth of their daughter, Sylvia Pascal, who later had an outstanding career as an actress. Her second marriage was to the businessman and film producer Gustavo Alatrist. 
Pinnell revealed on numerous occasions that Alatrist was the love of her life, a husband with whom she could have stayed forever. Pinnell met Alatrist at a meeting at Ernesto Alonso's house when he was about to divorce actress Ariadne Welter. It was thanks to Alatrist that Pinnell was able to make her film projects with Luis Buñuel. The marriage ended in 1967 due to Alatrist's infidelities and business problems between the couple. From her relationship with Alatrist, she had a daughter, actress Viridiana Alatrist, 1963-1982. Viridiana died in a car accident in Mexico City in 1982 at the age of 19. Her third marriage was to the famous rock and roll singer and idol Enrique Guzman. Pinal and Guzman met when he was a guest on Pinal's television show Aura Silvia. They were married in 1967, despite some public resistance, as Pinal was 11 years older than her husband. Their marriage lasted nine years. They worked together and had two children, the singer Alejandro Guzman, born in 1968, and the musician and composer Luis Enrique Guzman, born in 1970. Her last marriage was to the politician Tulio Hernandez Gomez, at the time the governor of Tlaxcala. The couple married in 1982. It was through Hernandez that Pinal entered the world of politics. Pinal and Hernandez divorced in 1995. In addition to her marriages, at various times in her life, Pinal had multiple romances. In 1954, when filming Un Extraño en la Escalera, Pinal fell in love with her co-star, Arturo de Córdoba. Other romances were with Mexican businessman Emilio Azcarraga Milmo, Egyptian actor Omar Sharif and American businessman Conrad Nicholson Hilton, Jr. With time, Pinal became the head of one of Latin America's most famous artistic dynasties. Her daughters Silvia and Viridiana followed in her footsteps as actresses. Alejandra, her youngest daughter, is one of Mexico's most popular singers. Alejandra's daughter Frida Sofia is also a model living in Miami, United States. In addition, her granddaughter Stephanie Salas, daughter of Sylvia, has also forged a career as an actress and singer. Stephanie's daughters, Michelle Salas and Camila Valero are both models and actresses. In November 2024, Pinal was hospitalized in Mexico City for a urinary tract infection. She died there on November 28, at the age of 93. The Senate of the Republic observed a minute's silence as a mark of respect, and the Secretariat of Culture announced that a posthumous homage to the actress would be held in the Palacio de Bellas Arts on November 30.